Hi, in this video we're going to look at repointing a vCenter server running version 7, so that's VCSA version 7, to another embedded node. Various reasons why you might want to do this, um, the main one being that it's nice to see all of your vCenter servers in the same vSphere client, makes it much easier to manage. So in this environment I have two vCenter servers running version 7. Of course, we don't have to worry about the external platform services control anymore because that's not available when we upgrade or install VCSA version 7 anymore. So here we can see, here's my VCSA number 1 and here's my VCSA number 2. And they are not joined together in the same SSO domain. Uh, we can check that by simply going to the, uh, the vCenter server node here and clicking the linked vCenter server systems tab and you can see that neither of them are connected to any other systems. Now fortunately it's extremely easy to uh, point them together into the same SSO domain. All you need to do is SSH into the one of them that you want to join to the other and uh, run a simple command. And Before we can do that we need to enable SSH onto uh, the node that we want to join. So we need to open up a, a console to the VCSA. And uh, hit F2. And just log in. We'll be presented with a few options. Uh, one of them will be the troubleshooting mode option. So we just uh, select that with enter and then we want to go down to uh, SSH and we want to hit enter on that to show it as enabled. And then we can just uh, escape out of this. Now we just open up an SSH terminal and uh, log in with the root password. And I uh, just need to uh, launch the shell. Okay, so once we have SSH'd into uh, our VCSA, there's a very simple command that we need to run, and I'll put this in the description so you can edit it for your own purposes. Uh, but essentially, we're going to be executing a domain repoint operation and specify the um, administrator username without the SSO um, suffix, and then uh, specify the vCenter server appliance that we're going to be joining this to. Uh, again, the um, and then the administrator and the actual domain name for the SSO domain that we're going to be joining to as well. And just enter the passwords. And just uh, maximize this. And we can see here that the global permissions for the, the vCenter server that we're going to be joining uh, from, i.e. the source, will be, uh, will be lost and um, that the, the administrator vCenter.local account will be given the administrator role. Um, and then obviously here it says we need to back up the nodes or all the nodes before we uh, do this operation and that includes any external databases that we might have. And uh, we're happy to continue this, so we're just going to uh, go for U, uh, Y. And then we just let the uh, the command continue. Okay, so it looks like the repoint has been successful. So we're just going to uh, close our shell down here and log back into the vCenter servers. Now that we've been able to successfully log in to both of the vCenter servers, instantly we can see that they are connected together, i.e. joined in the same SSO domain, uh, because we can see them both here in the inventory. And uh, if we go over to the second vCSA, we can see exactly the same thing. Uh, and furthermore, 
we can actually uh, inspect it further by just checking the linked vCenter Server Systems tab. And we can see here that VCSA1 is actually linked to VCSA2. And if we go into 2, we can see the same thing. VCSA2 is connected to VCSA1. I hope that's been useful for everyone. Thanks for watching.